Summer is a great time to mark the navigational hazards on your favorite lake, river, or reservoir as those hazards become exposed due to low water. Here's a quick tip on marking those hazards using your Onyx system and managing the waypoints associated with those hazards to make them more useful. As you can see here, I'm fishing a shallow stump field for panfish in late July. Now most of the stumps that I'm fishing around are just barely visible above the surface, but a month ago when the water levels were higher on this lake, those stumps were completely invisible. Now that these stumps are becoming exposed, I'm going to drop GPS waypoints on every single stump I can find using either my eyes above the water or side imaging below the water surface. As I go through my morning's fishing, the custom contour map that I created for this area using AutoChart Live will become annotated with an array of waypoints, each of which represents a stump. Well, I've had a chance to fish my way through the stump field for a while, and as I did so, I dropped waypoints on each of the stumps that I saw. Now, the tricky thing about dealing with lots of waypoints is that it can be hard to remember what each of them means from one trip to the next. Luckily, the onboard waypoint management feature of the Onyx system makes remembering what each waypoint means easier than ever before. Using the waypoint management feature of the Onyx system is easy. I'll start by selecting a waypoint using the cursor. Once the system recognizes the selected waypoint by drawing a red circle around it, I'll press the check mark button, which will call up the waypoint information menu for that particular waypoint. The Waypoint Information submenu allows me to manage a wide variety of attributes that are associated with this waypoint. I'll start by changing its name. Now, instead of an information poor alphanumeric code for this waypoint, we now know that the waypoint is a stump. We can reinforce that information by changing the icon for this waypoint. There are a wide variety of icons available within this icon submenu, but the stump icon is found under the water tab. Now the waypoint that I've created is information rich. We know from its name and its icon that that waypoint represents a stump. Now I'll follow the same procedure for each stump waypoint that I dropped while fishing this morning. In a matter of moments, I'll have an information-rich set of waypoints which will allow me to navigate and to fish this area with confidence.